Hello, stamping friends. It's Angie here with our live class for this week. We are featuring an awesome collection, a little different than we normally do. It's a masculine collection called He's All That. And I can't wait to show you the cool projects that I made for you and hopefully you will love them and you will want to order a $40 minimum order to get your free five card class kit. I'll tell you more about that in a little bit. First of all, just some reminders because we are at the end of May, May 31st, 2022. And, uh, just in case you didn't know, I wanted to remind you about our In Color Starter Kit Special. It lasts just for a few more hours, the end of today. That would be 11.59 p.m. Mountain Time. That's gonna be 1.59 p.m. here in my Eastern Time Zone. So you have a few hours left to make a decision, but it is an awesome, awesome bonus for that starter kit. You're going to just pay $99, you're gonna be able to select $125 worth of merchandise, plus you're gonna get some in-color bonus products, a whole bundle of the in-color stamp pads, an assortment of in-color cardstock, the designer series paper in the in-colors, and also some grid paper, so you'll have a really cool work surface to match all of your in-color projects. So you'll get all of those, it's a $66.50 value added to your kit. Again, just $99 plus tax, you'll get free shipping on that. The best part is if you place consistent orders, if you have a great big wish list like many of us do, especially when a new catalog has just come out, you're gonna wanna save some money, right? <laughs> especially nowadays. And you're gonna get a 20% discount when you purchase that starter kit, You'll as being a part of my team. So um, the great news is it's there's no obligation to sell. You don't have to do what I do. You don't have to sell to your friends. You can just enjoy the shopping, the happy discount shopping. Get your products at a discount. You get a lot more bang for your buck when you are part of the Too Cool team. So again, that's just for the end of, until the end of today. Don't miss out. They always have the $99 starter kit special, but this is with the in color bonus and you don't wanna miss those because they are fantastic colors this year. So if you need more information, you can go to twocoolstamping.com or if you want to, you can message me. I'll keep an eye on my messages for the rest of the evening if you have any questions. Again, there's no obligation to sell. Just join my team, have fun, save some money. It really makes sense and there are no strings attached. I promise you are gonna have a lot of fun. One more thing, I wanted to, um, I have a frequently asked question and that is, I don't wanna sign up because I wanna get your live class kits. Well, here's the cool part. As part of my team, you will get all of the class kit PDFs for free. All of the tutorials are gonna be free as part of our Two Cool Stampers library. So our team library is gonna have all of that. Plus you'll be able to see all the past kits as well. And if you want to actually purchase the kit, I have those available to my team for $15, just a flat fee so you can order your own products at a discount. So you don't have to place an order with me to qualify. So I do that on purpose. I want you to be able to have a great experience and get all your products at a discount if you wanted to. Again, ask me if you have any questions only until tonight. Don't miss out, don't miss out. Okay, um, oh, here's another thing. Tomorrow, if you're a demonstrator, the pre-order for the July to December mini catalog begins. And more than that, the second celebration pre-earn period begins. So if you do decide to purchase that starter kit, you'll be all set to start ordering from the brand new mini catalog that's set to come out on July 1st to our customers. So that's another little, a little sneak peek that you'll be able to be involved with if you purchase that starter kit. So, uh, because that new mini is coming out pretty quickly, tomorrow is also the day that our last chance retiring list will be released officially. So those items that will be retiring from the current mini catalog, the January to June mini catalog, um, those will be listed tomorrow. Some of them are at a discount, so you can look for those special pricing. And they're also gonna be, while supplies last, beginning tomorrow, June 1st. So I'll have that listed uh, tomorrow on my website. You can check that out for the full list, print out a copy of it so that you can see what's retiring and see what is on sale and make your purchases then. Okay, let's get on with our projects. 
I'm so excited for this because we have, we don't do a lot of masculine cards. Honestly, I do a lot of flowers. That's just what Stampin' Up! sells a lot of and what I really like. Um, but this is a really unique collection that I think is going to cover a lot of bases when it comes to masculine cards. So I'm going to flip the camera around. I'll show you what's in the collection and we'll get started on our project. So hold on for one second and I will show you everything. All right, let's get everything straightened out here. Turn some lights on. So this is called the He's all or he's the man collection it starts with the he's all that bundle so let me show you that put my hair up real quick because otherwise it's all in my face every time i'm trying to to stamp okay um oh before we do that let me just point out up here is our host code so if you do want a five card class kit i'll send that to you for free if you just place a 40 dollars minimum order you can go to twocoolstamping.com and click on the shop now link. Be sure to use that host code K D S C X Z Z N, and that's gonna let me know what kit you're interested in. If you have an order of $150 or more, well then you should be purchasing that starter kit, number one. But if you aren't purchasing the starter kit and do have a $150 order, don't use the host code because you'll earn Stampin' Reward dollars that you can spend. So if you put the host code in, those go away. But if you don't use the host code, I'll know to send you a class kit. So no worries about that. All right, in this collection, He's All That is our stamp set that we're working with. Some really awesome sentiments and some imagery that goes along with the cool paper that I'll show you in a minute. Also, the All That Dies so we have some really awesome labels. You guys, if nothing else, you need the dies because these are some really classic, fun label shapes that you'll be able to use in all sorts sorts of cards, not just these masculine cards. I love they have some little plaid um, or argyle type of um, intricate die cuts there, some banners and labels there too. But I'm loving all of these labels just as a must-have die set. So we have those, and those also match up with many of the sentiments. So they're really, really fun to work with together. Now the fun part of this whole collection is the He's the Man paper. This is fantastic paper. It covers a lot of the masculine bases. Uh, let me show you this paper. You have a fun, like camping type of a paper with some early espresso plaid on the back some eyeglasses and ties and bow ties and little um, wingtip shoes are on this one, mustaches, and some more uh, kind of a plaid. I don't know if you can see that very well with my light, but that's another early espresso. Then we have just another argyle early espresso pattern and another cool pattern to match. This one has fun classic cars on one side and another kind of a tire tread type of a of a pattern on that side with the Sahara sand. This one has all kinds of barbecue imagery and then a nice bright Cajun craze pattern. And then check this out. So we have five different double-sided sheets plus this is kind of different. You're gonna have two full sheets of these cool die cuts. So these are all ready to pop out and use as elements on your cards. And it all has imagery that matches the, the patterns of paper. You'll have camping things, barbecue, some um, you know wrenches and things like that, classic cars, lots of different uh, hunting type of things. Anyway, just all kinds of dad things that you can punch out and layer and use as little elements on your cards. And you get two full sheets of these. So really fun, full color, uh, you know, no stamping needed for, for cards that you use these on. And so much fun and just a little bit different. So you can really have a lot of variety and a lot of ease in putting your projects together. Now today's projects, I'm going to show you how to do a stamped version. And then we're going to use those die cuts on my Too Cool version. Obviously my kits um, that I'm making, the class, the five card live class kit, I can't do the die cuts because I'm not going to have enough of the same die cuts to share in a class kit, but I did want to show you how you could use those.
So let's get started with our first project. And this one, I couldn't wait to use all the different kinds of papers. So we're gonna start with soft succulent. This is a traditional card base, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. It's gonna be a vertical card. And then I've already die cut, or I've already cut up uh, several strips of paper here. So lots of different patterns. You can mix and match whatever patterns you want. It's a really masculine, fun, bright um, color combination in this He's the Man paper. And then we're gonna have this sheet of Cajun Craze to use as our foundation. It's a four by four, four by five and a quarter. And we'll just start adding all of those different strips. So I'll start with this bottom one here. And we'll just make it about a quarter of an inch. I'm gonna do the ends first. Whoops, let's go this way. So the glasses are kind of, they make you wanna put it upright that way. And the mustaches are that way too. And then we'll add in a couple of more strips. These are all four by one, four by one strips. You can do this with your extra scraps. Makes a fun background just with the pieces that you might not be able to use for any other part of the card. Little camping one there. And then the Cajun Craze pattern. Right at the bottom here. All right, now before we put that on our card, I'm gonna wrap some faux suede early espresso ribbon around. This is perfect for a manly accent, that faux suede. Uh, I, do, I do want to remind you that when you purchase that, because it's a little bit thicker and a little bit more um, expensive, it is only five yards on the spool. So don't get, I had to remember that when I was ordering for a project, I ordered too little because usually all of our ribbons are 10 yard spools. But this one is uh, pretty special as far as ribbon go and uh, goes and it's five yards per spool. So here is our background, super easy to make. And then we're gonna add some elements to the front of it. Let me put a few more little strips here of the seal adhesive. We'll add that to the front of our card. All right, now we're gonna add some elements on top of that. I'm gonna start with, uh, this is one of the die cuts and it's with the Crushed Curry cardstock. We're going to stamp on it with the sentiment that says, to the man who does everything. So there is our main sentiment. I'm also going to stamp another co coordinating sentiment, this time on Sahara Sand. And I'm going to use Early Espresso. And this says, love this guy, with a little arrow. And then we'll use the die cuts to cut that love this guy out so that's ready to go let's add that with some dimensionals to our card front so i'm going to pop this up over the ribbon as the dimensional backings go flying <laughs> so here's my little pop of color with that sentiment. I'm also gonna pop this up. I, I think I forgot my mini dimensionals would, look, would work really well with this little tiny piece. But did you know that if you just use your snips and cut along the edge of your border of your dimensionals, that works really well for these tiny ones too, these tiny little spaces too. Use all of it. So that's just gonna go right here. It's gonna point to the main sentiment, like so. And then I'm gonna use another 
item from this collection and that is the rustic uh, what's it called the rust rustic adhesive back dots I believe is what it's called and I'm gonna use I'm just gonna put a couple of these larger ones there's two sizes and add that so there you go, super quick, super easy, uses all your paper scraps from this collection. Very, very fun. So let me show you my two cool version. Now this one, oh, before I do that, let me show you the inside. The inside of the card that I made already, I used, um, I love these photo corner images. So you can make, uh, I just stamped those in Cajun Craze. I also used another sentiment here, holy smokes, you're amazing. So that's really fun. Okay, here is our two cool version. And this one I started out with Sahara Sand for my card base. I had the same Cajun craze as my foundation. Used some different strips of, um, of paper, not too different, but I think I used two of the black, none of the soft succulent. We kept soft succulent out of this one and just put them in a different order. I also use some of the natural, I can't remember what it's called, natural linen ribbon. Uh, it's right from the new catalog and I can't remember the name of it, but it comes with an old olive ribbon as well in a combo pack. And then this element is one of the die cuts. I used one of the other uh, dies from the All That uh, die set to cut out a crushed curry piece and then I cut that in half and positioned those on the top and the bottom there and then added some of the rustic dots beside it. So you can see it's really fun um, and super easy because we didn't even have to do stamping for this one. We just added all of the layered elements. So those are your two cool versions, your stamped version and your die cut version. You'll get all of the pieces to make this one in your card kit. All right, next up. We have an early espresso layer. This card base is traditional five and a half by eight and a half score at four and a quarter. It's another vertical card. I started with a piece of uh, Sahara sand here and this is four by five and a quarter. And then I've already embossed that. I don't know if you can see that texture, but it's the Timber 3D embossed texture. I love that. Also very manly, I think. And then I took one of the patterns from the he He's the Man Designer Series paper. It was four by four to begin with, and then I just cut diagonally, starting from the top right down to the bottom left. Now we're gonna add those to the Sahara, Sahara sand piece, and we'll add it to the top and the bottom corners. Just something a little bit different. It kind of adds to the focal point of this card. So we'll just add that flush to the top and the side. And then we'll add this piece to the bottom. Whoops. Get that on there a little straighter. All right, so there is our background piece. We'll go ahead and add that to our card base. Just gives a little bit of texture right through that center. I love that look. Something a little different. Next, I use the All That Dies. This piece right here gives you a little double banner and I cut out some early espresso banners with that one. I'm going to start by adding one up here and then I'll add another one. Whoops. I gotta get my adhesive off of there. It's gonna stick to me all the whole rest of the night. And I'll add another banner here just leaving a little gap in between. All right let's put together our focal point. I used another one of those dies from the All That dies to cut this out of basic white. That's such a pretty scalloped circle shape. Again, 
just get the dies if you don't like the stamp set. The dies are amazing. We're gonna use Early Espresso and another one of the sentiment images. This one says, together for the long haul. So that goes on the stamp or on the circle. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of color to that. I have my soft succulent Stampin' Blends and also my gray granite. So I'm just gonna add, use the brush tip end and add a little bit of color around the windows. And I think I'll just use the light soft succulent for the rest of this little bus. Just gives it a little bit more pop when you have a little bit of color to it. And then maybe this piece up here. And then I think I wanna add some color to the wheels as well. So some gray granite on the tires. Okay, that's enough. I've also uh, cut out another shape. This is from the Stylish Shapes die set. Oh, I should have brought that over here. I didn't. This is another must-have. It's a standalone die set, and it has, it's kind of like um, the stitched shapes uh, dies that we had before that are now retired. It has a lot of circles and squares and banner images that are all, that all have that pretty um, stitched look around the edges. So look for that. It's called uh, Stylish Shapes. You're going to want that for sure in your die collection. But this is Cajun Craze. We're going to use that as well as this. We're going to pop this up. First, let's put this one down with our seal. And we'll pop that right up over the top. So when I'm looking at it this way, I was trying to line it up. I actually want to line it up so it's centered between these two. And I wanna bring it down as far as I need to to make that line up perfectly. So I, it just works a little bit better if you're looking at it on the diagonal when you put that on. Then we'll add some dimensionals behind here. Do, 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 do. And of course we need to finish it up with a little bit of shine. So I'm bringing back those rustic dots. We'll add one over here and one over here. So here you go. I love how that one came together. Super cute. I'm gonna show you my original here, what the inside looked like. I used another one of the imagery uh, stamps from He's all that. I did color it in with the Stampin' Blends markers in Soft Succulent. And then let me show you the Too Cool version. So this one uses the die cuts from the die cut sheets. We start again with the Sahara Sand. I use that same Sahara Sand embossed full sheet and then I cut the um, this Soft Succulent pattern. I cut that in half in the back of that pattern had this pretty early espresso plaid. So I just flipped it over and used that. So you could do that for this one as well if you would like to have that to be the early espresso color. I like the, the different uh, looks there. And then I used a larger circle from the Stylish Shapes. These two are die cuts directly from that die cut sheet and then a couple of rustic dots over here. Super, super cute. Let's see what the inside looks like. Oh, this is another one of the die cuts from the sheet and another one with a little mousse on it just to give it a little personality on the inside. All right. Okay, I have a fun card next. It's a fancy fold. And you know, we're always looking for masculine birthday cards and especially ones that might have a gift card holder attached. I don't know about you, but sometimes the man in your life is really hard to buy for and just they just... Uh, need a gift card and that's about the only thing that's gonna <laughs> that's gonna work so that's perfect for this card it's got a really kind of cool gift card holder that I found it starts with an early espresso quarter sheet so there's it's not folded it's just four and a quarter by five and a half 
Next, you're gonna need another piece of early espresso. This time, it's eight and a half by two and a quarter, and it's scored at the four and a quarter mark. So this is like your little tiny card base. And this is gonna go right along the bottom. Before we do that though, let's add a piece of designer series paper. So this one is the classic car one. It's four by three. My adhesive keeps sticking to the paper. I must have some adhesive on the, the side of it. I don't know. Things are getting sticky around here. All right, so here's the top. Then we're gonna add this piece and we're gonna make this a pocket for a gift card. So we're gonna do that with some tear and tape. So this is how you want your card to open. So this piece will be adhered on the back and we're gonna make it in just with some tear and tape in a U shape. That way we'll have plenty of room to stick a little gift card in there. I forgot to bring my little gift card prototype over here. That's ridiculous. Did I do it? Is it in here somewhere? Oh, for crying out loud. I have so many, I save all my gift cards. I don't know about you, but <laughs> all my gift cards that are used, I, uh, I save them for photography purposes and for demonstration purposes to show how a gift card holder works. All right, so this is just gonna line up right at the bottom of this quarter sheet. And remember, it's gonna open this way, and now we have a little pocket that you can put your gift card in. So let's pretend this is a gift card that'll stick right in there. All right, this so far is the front. We're gonna decorate that with another piece. This is the back side of that same pattern, and this is four by two. So that just goes right here on the front. And then we're gonna create a little focal point. So we have, these are kind of some crazy measurements, but this is Cajun Craze. It's two and five eighths by four. Hold on, is that right? Yep, by four. Then on top of that, we're gonna have a piece of early espresso. This is two and a half by three and seven eighths. So just an eighth inch difference. And we'll just center that right inside there. That's gonna go here. And then we have another background that we'll put on here. This is a piece of basic white that's been die cut with the stitched rectangles dies. Those will go, that'll go right over the top of our other layers. Just center that. And then I have another die cut here. This is with the all that dies in Sahara sand. And we'll stamp on that with another one of our cool he's all that sentiments. This one says, happy birthday to a classic. So this is gonna be popped up on top of here with some dimensionals. I'm gonna put that right at the top here so we have some room for some other accents. I have a piece here of linen thread and I'm just gonna tie that around my layers twice and I'm just gonna tie it in a little knot here. Nothing fancy. You know me, I don't do very many bows. Knots are so much easier. Especially for a guy card, you don't want a bow anyway. We're gonna trim that those ends off. 
Yeah, I'm gonna bring this down a little bit and spread those apart. And then I have one more element I want to add. This one is another one of the little images. It's just a little circle that says number one. Stamp that in Cajun Craze. Now there is not a die for this one, but it's pretty easy to cut out. I just use my paper snips. And remember when you're cutting, you wanna keep your blades pretty much in the same position and drive, no pun intended, around the outside of your image. So you're turning the paper more than you're turning the blades. It helps you cut a little bit smoother and have a little bit more control. And it, at first it might seem a little awkward, but believe me, it, you'll get really used to that and it really will uh, help with cutting. All right, let me see where I want to put this. This is another place where it'd be really great to have just a small dimensional, like a mini dimensional. And because you just want it right here on the edge, maybe a little bit of seal there. We're gonna overlap it, get some of this adhesive off. There we go. All right, and then we're gonna add some dots to that, but before that, we're gonna add this to our card front. So we wanna put this on here, but again, we only want that to be on this front flap. So remember my little trick, we're gonna turn that over, center it on our page where we want it, and then add, you can either add seal, um, maybe a, actually I think I'm gonna use seal plus for this since it's such a little piece that we're adhering and we want to make sure that it's nice and secure. You could also use uh, tear and tape, liquid glue, or pop it up with some dimensionals. So I'm just gonna lightly tack that, whoops, not that lightly. Do, 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 lightly tack that, make sure that I have all the adhesive covered there and that everything is straight. And then we'll push that down. And then let's add a couple of our rustic dot elements. All right, so there you have it. Let me show you what I did on the inside. There's another image that you can stamp from the He's All That. I stamped that in Cajun Craze. And again, you'll have that little pocket that you can use to put your um, gift card in it. And when you have it closed, this gift card, it's not gonna be this tall. So let's pretend that's a gift card. And then this part is gonna cover your gift card when it's sitting in the pocket vertically. So kind of a fun little different uh, fancy fold card. So let me show you the too cool version. This one also starts with early espresso. I use the same paper. I just flipped the patterns. So you have the lighter pattern on top, the darker one on the bottom, and then you get these really awesome die cuts in your pack and a few, a couple of these stars. Whoops. Your classic also is another die cut. I added the linen thread through the center and some rustic dots. And then when you open it up, I have another little die cut on the inside. And then of course the place that you can stick your gift card right in there. So those are our two cool versions. You'll get all the parts and pieces to make this one in your kit. All right, our fourth card here is going to be a little bit different. I wanted to try something that was all neutrals. I don't know about you, but I love the look of neutrals and metallics together, textures, patterns that are all in tans and grays. Um, it's kind of the trend with uh, home decor. I just love that look. So I thought I'm gonna try that with this card. So this one starts with crumb cake as our card base, same size as usual. We have another strip here from the He's the Man paper, and this one is a 
one and a half by five and a half strip. And we'll add that down the center here of our paper. Next, I have a piece of three and a half by four and three quarter smoky slate. And then I have already embossed that with the gingham embossing folder. So that is going to happen. Let me get my little cheat sheet over here, my, my card that I originally made because I did some different things with the layers than I normally do. So I cut out another stitched rectangle. It's the same size as we just had with our other card, just made it with crumb cake this time. And this is driving me crazy that I have this, I need to get a different seal. <laughs> it keeps sticking to the table. I need to get that off of there. Let's see if I, except it might be the only one that I have any, it's the only one I have any uh, adhesive in for some reason. I need to fill all my refills. Okay, we'll just go like this instead of, yeah, I got to figure it out. All right, this is going to go on like so centered and then I'm going to add this so that it's centered in between that strip going down in the background but we don't want to adhere that yet because now I'm going to add a piece of ribbon this is the new ribbon and I cannot remember the name of this one either but it's that one inch um, might be natural linen I'm not sure it's natural something and I'm gonna just take that right across here. I added a little bit of seal on both sides so I can just secure the ends by wrapping those around like so. So we're just creating a bunch of layers. We'll add the seal again. You can add it right over that ribbon. I'm gonna put a lot on there since we have that ribbon, it makes it a little bulkier. So there are a few layers. All right, next up we have another die cut from that the All That Dies. This, this time it's in basic white. We're gonna add a stamp. Doo, 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 doo. I have to clean it up. This is the one we used on the first card. <gasps> Woo! So put it on my little cleaning pad here, Simply Shammy. We're gonna ink this one up with Memento Black. Ta-da, love that. Kind of a pop of black on the neutrals. And I'm gonna layer that on a piece of basic gray. This one is a one and three quarter by two and three quarter piece. So we'll layer that right on here. Lots of fun layering. And then we're going to pop that up over the top. So this is a fun design that you could use with a lot of different stamp sets and papers. You could create a fun background with different color combinations, different um, designer series paper patterns, just trying to find a different ribbon that will match and a, a different element, a sentiment, I mean. I'm trying to talk and create at the same time. doesn't always work. All right, then we have, instead of the rustic dots, I wanted to get a black uh, embellishment on here. So these are the, called the classic dots, classic dots or classic matte dots. Now I can't remember. Classic matte dots, I think. Don't quote me. I'll have it all in the description and also on twocoolstamping.com. All right, so there we go. Isn't that cute? I love that, it's just a little bit different. Here's the one I made earlier. I just added the number one at the bottom there for a very simple embellishment. And then we'll look at the too cool version, 
This one uses the dies from, or the die cuts from the die cut page. I started with uh, Sahara Sand. Then I had gray granite as my textured layer. So I put that next. So you can see I flipped, I wanted the Cajun Craze Designer Series paper to show up a little bit more, to have more of a pop of color. So I switched those out. I put some of that natural ribbon that I had on the first uh, die cut card and those go around all of these layers and then uh, my stitched rectangle is in basic gray this time. I used a banner from that stylish shapes die set that I told you about with the circles and and uh, squares. It also has these really cool banner shapes. So I used that with crushed curry and then that die cut over the top of it and then use those same, whoops, classic dots. This one needs a little bit more adhesive to it, apparently. It's moving around. Anyway, I liked how, I love how that turned out. I thought that was really fun with that pop of color on the neutral background. I didn't make the, the inside to that for some reason. Anyway, you get the idea. All right, we have one more card. Again, if you order the uh, at least $40, minimum order using that host code you're going to get all the parts and pieces to make all of the first cards the ones I'm actually demonstrating that are stamped not the ones that have the die cut you'll have to get the paper yourself and then you'll have all kinds of options for die cutting or for the die cut elements all right this one is soft succulent for the background I have a piece of Evening Evergreen, also embossed with the gingham embossing folder. This is five and a half by one and a half. This is gonna go right along the bottom. Just have a little edge of soft succulent peeking out. This is gonna be a really quick card. I have a piece here of designer series paper that he's the man. This is a three and a half by three inch piece. And I'm going to adhere that to a three and three quarter by three and a quarter inch piece. So just a quarter inch mat in basic black. And then before we add that, we're gonna do that same little trick. We're gonna add some ribbon here, this soft, um, soft succulent satin ribbon. And I'm gonna add that by wrapping it around. We don't want a lot of bows on a masculine card, right? But this, for some reason, when I looked at this satin, it reminded me of like a dress up type of event where a man has a silk in his pocket. And he, that's, we have ties all over the background, so a little classier than normal. I'm gonna add, add this with some more seal. To this background, right like that. So you notice that I put that ribbon just a little higher up, just for a design, uh, just, you know, kind of a graphic element that it's just a little bit higher than that background piece. All right, before we do the sentiment on this one, I did die cut a couple of these really cool argyle pieces. You get two dies in your kit, so it's really easy to do two at once. And I'm gonna add those, I think, with some glue dots here. They don't have to really be tacked down very securely. We just don't want them to go anywhere, but. So the first one is gonna go right here. That's just gonna hook to the ribbon. If you wanted to use liquid glue, you could do that as well. But I'm just sticking it on these glue dots, or the glue dot sheet. And then this one is gonna go up here. And then we'll finish up with a little sentiment. This is one of the die cuts from the All That Dyes Basic White. And hmm, this time we're gonna do, hello handsome. 
since he's all dressed up in his tie with his silk pocket. And then we'll add that with some dimensionals. Cover that up so you don't put your hand in it. That's me talking to myself out loud. All right, we'll add that right here. And we'll finish up with, you could use those same classic dots that I had for the other card, but I'm gonna use the matte black dots. And there's two sizes of this. I'm gonna use the smaller size. And I think I'm gonna put them down here. Everything's sticking to me. There we go. Simple and easy. That's Jax, if you can hear him, he's barking in the background. So on my original card, I added those same little photo corners as well as a wishing you a happy Father's Day sentiment. I love that it has that sentiment in there, but I love that this is not just a Father's Day stamp set. Um, I am gonna try to get these out to you as soon as I possibly can so that if you do want to create a Father's Day card out of one of these, you can but you can use it for birthdays or anniversaries or congratulations, anything that you want to try with a masculine theme. All right, here's my two cool version. This time I started with mint macaron on the background. I used some designer series paper for my strip in the background. The gingham is on this background in Sahara sand, and then the matte is in evening evergreen. The die cut from the die cut paper I put those Argyle pieces, those are early espresso. I put them in some different uh, positioning there. Tied it with some linen, not linen, da da da, baker's twine. <laughs> White baker's twine from the uh, Essentials Baker's Twine pack. And then added some classic dots. These are the white version. I love this pack because it has all the different neutrals. Whites, very vanilla, uh, basic gray, and black. So those were added here. Did I add a sentiment? Yes, I did. And then these are actually die cut. You could stamp those in early espresso, but these are actually die cuts. I tried to use as many die cuts on the die cut version as I want, as I could. So those are the two versions for that final card. All right, let me show you again everything that you're gonna get in your five card kit. Get everything out of the way. So you'll have all the parts and pieces to create all of these different cards. Everything that is die cut, I pretty much will have die cut for you with the exception of anything that you need to stamp and then die cut uh, if it gets too close. For example, this number one doesn't have a die cut. You'll, have to, you'll just have a piece of basic white to stamp on. Also, I'm not gonna pre-die cut this little piece because it's just too hard to line it up when it's a cling stamp. If it was photopolymer and we could see through it, that might be a different story, but I'll just give you the Sahara sand paper and then you'll need to either die cut that on your own or simply cut it out. It's a, an easy shape to cut out. All the rest of the pieces are gonna be there for you. Uh, you can put those all together. You'll just need the uh, stamps and the inks and the adhesives to put these cards together. Again, just a $40 minimum order. Go to twocoolstamping.com, click on the Shop Now link. Be sure to use that host code. You're gonna find it on the checkout page right at the top right column, uh, just before all of the pricing. Uh, you'll see a little place where you can apply a host code. Be sure to put the KDSCXZZN host code in there so that I know which kit you're wanting to earn. And, um, and another, uh, just a reminder, if you have a $150 order, don't use the host code. You'll want to be able to redeem those stamp and rewards on your own order. And um, that is gonna go through next Tuesday. What is that? <gasps> to, I think it's the 7th. So next Tuesday, June 7th, that's how long you have to earn it. I'll get everything in the mail by the following week on the 14th. Um, don't hold me to it because I've been really stretched for time with uh, taking care of my baby, but I'm gonna try to get these, uh, some of these kits made up early in advance. 
and that way I can get them out to you before the 14th so that if you might want to use them for a Father's Day card, you might have a chance to do that. Can't guarantee that the post office is going to get it to you in time, but we can at least try. So that's my intention. Uh, again, don't hold me to that. My time has been really crazy and uh, obviously restricted a bit because of taking care of my little one. Um, and then finally, just a note since I brought her up, um, I know several of you have asked, where are pictures of your little girl? Um, I, I totally apologize. I'm really far behind on that. I'm going to get some pictures up. Um, I've just been super, super, super stretched for time. And that is one thing I haven't been able to do yet. So in fact, it's like, I, she's over six months old. I don't even have the five month old pictures posted <laughs> online yet. So we have some catching up to do, but we will get them caught up and she is changing so fast now. I just am spending time enjoying all of the the new things that she's doing every day. It's one or two new things. And she's just at such an exciting age right now. Things are changing so fast. Uh, I'm just trying to take it all in and enjoy it. And I know that it's, it's affecting um, what I'm doing with my classes and everything, but I'm sure that those of you who have children understand that this is a special time. And there are certainly um, other days that I can do stamping and we'll just keep up the best that we can. And hopefully you'll stick with me and uh, enjoy the classes as much as I can put them out. I love stamping, but you know how it goes. You just have to have, um, you know, you want to spend time with your family. So that's what I'm doing. Thanks for sticking with me. I'm sorry it's been so long since my last class. Hope you've enjoyed this one and hope you want to, uh, to earn that again. You have until next Tuesday, June 7th. And um, I think that's all. Don't forget in color starter kit only good through the end of today go to twocoolstamping.com for all the details uh, you can also direct message me with any questions that you have it's a great great way to get a discount on all of your orders and you know save some money and gosh these days any way we can save some money is a good thing am i right all right everyone have a great great evening thank you so much for for joining me and hope you've had a lot of fun until next time this is angie with twocoolstamping.com see you later bye bye